Hi, everybody. My name is Zoran Bernadac from 3D Various. And before explaining a little bit about this strange violin, you see, I'm going to play to you a little piece. Thank you. Thank you. As you can see, it's not a classical violin. You see, there is a little difference between a classical violin and an electric one, like this one. You have no sounding board. So if I didn't plug it into my effect pedals, you will hear nothing. But if I plug it, you will hear a very electric sound. I have used uh, different effects, as you can see. I have more one. Maybe you will uh, recognize it. So you can see we can use different effects, like guitar, like electric guitar. And I use, for me, two violins, a classical one when I play classic, baroque music, and I use an electric one when I play jazz or rock, like here. This violin, called the 3D Various, has some specific and strange features. It has no head, as you can see. The head we have took from the top to the bottom. It is built in one single piece in order to have a perfect conduction of the sound waves. 
the sound waves come from the strings and come into the body of the instrument and then go to these four mix, which are piezoelectric mix, and which reacts this strange and specific sound. Music is emotion. When you are a musician, music and emotion and feelings are in your head. But in order for you to hear my music, this emotion has to be translated into some specific filter, some translator. The first translator is the body. Body translates emotion into movement. So the more control, the more fit you are in your body, uh, the more um, precise will be the translation. Then the second translator is the instrument, this one. The more precise, the more control on the instrument you have, the more precise will be the emotion that public will perceive. So when I tried to create my own violin three years ago, um, I had three main objectives in order to have the perfect violin for me and for others, maybe. It has to be light, it has to be comfortable, and it has to have a very, very good sound. It took me three years, three steps, to create this violin. Uh, I first tried to, to create um, an aluminium one, but it was very, very expensive uh, to have the design I wanted. Then I passed through different sorts of um, material, plexiglass. We took a cube of plexiglass, and then we sculpted it. The violin was clear, a good design like this, but it was very too heavy. When you play, uh, here I've just played two minutes, but sometimes I play five or six hours a day. And when you play with a very heavy instrument, you will have a lot of injuries, so it can be good. And finally, uh, I discovered 3D printing uh, resins, stereolithography, which allow me to reconcile my three main objectives. From ID to model, um, it's not like classical instrument making. So I started by drawing a design that I love. Then I passed through a 3D model that you can see on the bottom. Then I made some specific tests, translating 3D model into physical objects in 3D printing. And then we passed through a 3D printing. You can see here the machine we used. It's a big 3D printer, which worth more than $1 million. And in 24 hours, you will see the violin created in this position. Twenty-four hours, thirty thousand layers, and then you have all the transparent parts that you can see here in one single piece. But it's not finished. One day of printing, twenty days of manufacturing in order to have this violin. Great. Uh, we send different parts in contact with the skin, in contact with the strings. We protect the material against UV, against light, against humidity and against dust, of course. We assemble different parts, the mics, the strings, the jacks, the tuning pegs. And then we take two days to make different settings in order to have the perfect violin for each violinist, because every free virus is different. We constantly improve our model. We try to meet some different people. Vironist or not Vironist, maybe we will recognize some politic people, actors. Uh, but we, this violin was played by thousand people uh, in one year. So we travel uh, in different countries. And every time we meet some, some people, we try to understand what it wants, what it feels with this violin, and uh, to move some different things in order to have the perfect violin for everybody. Because I did it just for myself. But um, now we are selling it in different countries in the world. What's next? 
And before uh, thanking you for your attention, uh, we are a small team based in, in Toulouse, in France. We travel in different uh, events, musical events or technology events. And uh, for the moment, we have two violins. We have this four strings violin. We have a five string violin with a low chord uh, in order to, to play distortion uh, like a rock star. Uh, but in the end of January, we will have different products, different violin, uh, less expensive, but with uh, a lot of possibilities in order to touch every market and every person. Many thanks for your attention. Do you want me to play something? Okay, okay. Thank you.